Each weekend, ABC 10's Walt Gray catches up with a Cal Matters journalist about the biggest political stories of the week. Here's Walt with more. Welcome to our weekly discussion of all things current in California politics. I'm Walt Gray. Joining us this week, reporter Emily Hoven, a political expert for CalMatters.org. Emily, nice to see you again, as always. Um, so what's happening in the state of California? We're talking about gas rebates, and it's 400, maybe 800, you have two cars, you get $800. What's happening with the governor and, and the rebates with gas? The governor um, this week unveiled his own proposal after weeks of buildup. He basically wants to send 400 debit $400 debit cards to um, people with registered cars in the state, maximum of two cars per person. He also wants to offer free public transportation for three months and suspend various gas and diesel uh, taxes. And that's going to compete with several other Democratic proposals. As you said, there's one that is $400 for every um, California taxpayer. And then there is also a $200 one for taxpayers and dependents with an income cap of $250,000. And so I think the main debate we're going to be seeing at the Capitol is, should we try to target this to, you know, people who are less wealthy and who may not have cars? Or should we actually, you know, send that money to people that have cars and then try to offset that with the public transit? Yeah, I wasn't sure how the money was going to be delivered, but you mentioned debit cards. So we'll be looking for that. Uh, there is a, the Sac City teacher strike. We're not going to debate that today, but it, it, there is a lot of labor unrest in California. Where is this going? I think we're actually seeing, you know, the after effects of the pandemic continue to collide with this skyrocketing cost of living. And we're seeing that not only with the gas prices, but the prices of food, um, shelter, basically everything that you need to survive. And so we had the Sac City unified strike this week. We also had um, 500 workers basically walk off the job at a Chevron oil refinery in Richmond. And this week, we also had tens of thousands of um, grocery workers in Southern and Central California voting on whether to allow their union to authorize a strike. And so what all of those things had in common was a cost of living um, wage increase, basically saying, hey, like we're just we're not asking for too much here. We're just trying to survive because, as you can see, the price of everything has gone up and we just cannot afford to stay here in California. What's not new is California sort of positioning itself as a state that's different than Texas and Florida in many ways, sanctuary-wise, refuge-wise. We're seeing this word sanctuary and refuge pop up a lot, not only from the governor, but also from lawmakers who have introduced bills basically saying, you know, if you are a person who's in the LGBT community, if your child is transgender and is wanting to seek, you know, gender-affirming care, but is being blocked from doing that by various bills in states like Texas and Florida and other red states, you know, flee to California. We will make sure you are protected. We will make sure you're able to access the care that, that you need. Um, and the governor this week also signed um, a controversial bill, which actually eliminates um, out-of-pocket costs for abortion um, and abortion-related services for private insurance healthcare plans here in California. And, you know, he has said he wants California to be um, a sanctuary state for people, you know, fleeing more restrictive policies, abortion policies in other states. And so um, I think that's only going to intensify as we have Roe versus Wade you know, kind of potentially be on the path for change in the Supreme Court. Here's a case this year, later this year that could um, affect that. Indeed. Okay. Emily, thank you. As always, Cal Matters, a nonpartisan news organization explaining California policies and politics. Find their work at calmatters.org. You can also sign up for Emily's newsletter there.